I'm gonna start with the most basic procedure. Let's say that I have a patient that has lost the teeth. Here we still have teeth. What's gonna happen? The first thing that we need to understand is when, when a patient starts to lose all the teeth, the body is going to react in different situations. One of the things is that the bone's gonna start to recede and the dimension that you have from the nose to the chin is going to start to get reduced. So with this, we need to understand that from the techniques, the basic one is to go for the most simple technique, which is going to be two implants. Let's say that you perform two implants as I show it here, two implants. It could be an upper maxilla or it could be a mandible. At the end, it's going to be only two implants. Many patients, they say, can I go for the simplest thing? Well, it could be two implants that they're going to be supporting a structure or a denture which is going to be attached to those implants. If you have a patient that is going to perform, let's say, snap-ons, is going to have two uppers, two lowers. They're going to have the extractions, they're going to have the leveling. We're going to place implants. If it's going to be uppers, two. If it's going to be uppers and lowers, it's going to be four. And at the end, they're going to be wearing a denture with, sometimes they are called locators. It could be locators and they're going to be like a junction that is going to be strong, but it's going to be a device that probably it can have roof of the palate or it can have a small amount of roof of palate. But at the end, it's going to be a device that is going to be snap on, snap out, snap on, snap out. That's the most basic thing that you can find in implantology.